Hello. So I recently found this audio whisper project, um, which uses OpenAI's whisper project. Um, it's basically a transcription or translation interface. Uh, you talk in a microphone and it transcribes it and um, basically writes you the video or audio in text. Um, I also discovered that it uses CUDA. So I've recently used a Whisper project, but only CPU based, and that resulted in a lot of CPU load. So um, in this video, I'll basically use my Intel NUC um, and I'll set up Manjaro on there. And then I want to try and get this going. So we'll need the NVIDIA drivers and uh, the CUDA stuff and a few more things to get this going. So let's switch over to the Intel NUC. I'll basically start in the BIOS. Um, first step, just press F9 to load the optimized defaults. I did have some issues on this system um, setting up dual boots. So in the storage section, I can define whether or not I want to use my um, Intel Optane. Doesn't matter for most of you. So um, yeah, um, the next thing I'll have to change is I have to disable Secure Boot because I don't want to manually install the operating system. I want to use PXE, so Network Boot. Okay, so I'm waiting for it to come up and then I'll press F10 to select my boot menu. And then I'll basically um, install a dual boot configuration of Manjaro and Windows, but we'll only use the Manjaro part. Okay, so this is now basically launching a minimal um, Linux and then it's transferring the operating system to the hard drive. So I'll speed this up and be right back. Okay, so if we take a look at the Manjaro wiki, um, we can see there is a methodology to install um, any sort of drivers. So here you can see an example for um, installing uh, PCI non-free 0300. So the 0300 stands for um, the types, so that means graphic cards. So let's switch over and try that out. So this command will then um, make Manjaro look up what graphic cards are in the system by um, querying the PCI bus. So here it detects a GeForce RTX 2060 mobile and an Iris graphics card. So this is a dual graphics card setup, which is common in laptops and um, this Intel NUC that I got. And then it will install the appropriate drivers and um, the NVIDIA Yultuds. It also installs NVIDIA Prime, which to my understanding is um, it works in a way where you use the Intel graphics card, but if you have any um, GPU intensive tasks, you can basically transfer these over to the NVIDIA card. Um, if I just let this run through, it's going to then reboot and mm, basically never start up the graphical user interface. Um, we can fix that by adding a simple argument into the grub um, command line arguments. So this file is basically used whenever your system generates a new grub record. And the grub record is basically what starts up the operating system itself. So we are going in there and here we have this grub command line default. 
And what I usually do is I remove the quiet um, because I want to see the um, the output of the commands that are running. And then you have to add ibt equals off. Um, to my understanding, that turns something off in the Intel section, and that way the NVIDIA graphic cards is going to work with the proprietary NVIDIA graphics card drivers that we are in the process of installing. So I let the install finish over here first, and then after that's done, I am going to run the sudo update grep command. And that will then um, look through the disks, see what um, operating systems we have installed, and create a combined file. And also add in the arguments that we defined in this file. So let's do that. And this also detects that I got a Windows and my Manjaro, and it basically wrote a updated grub interface. So once we reboot it, we could run the NVIDIA SMI to verify that the drivers are working. If we just run it now, we won't get any messages because we have to reboot for it to load. So let's do that. So if we now press E, we can edit the default arguments. And you can see that we now edit a IPD equals off and we remove the, um, the quiet argument. So now I press F10 and that will boot this configuration. So you can also just not press E and just let it boot up. So afterwards I log in. And now we can run the NVIDIA SMI to verify that our drivers have been installed successfully. So we're right now running pretty much on the latest on version uh, 525. And it also tells me that CUDA version 12 is installed. Uh, to my understanding, some other tools require different versions. So what I usually also do is I use Pac-Man to install um, just CUDA and C-U-D-N-N. Uh, it's also recommended to install it through the repositories rather than downloading them, because that way you can simply upgrade with Pac-Man and it will fetch the last versions from the repositories. So I'll let that finish. That's going to take a few minutes. And afterwards, we'll try to install that um, audio whisper project. Okay, so the installation has succeeded. I just need to install Git because we now want to download the audio whisper from github what is it github.com slash So I guess since we are going to use Python, I'll also need um, pip. So in contrast to Ubuntu, you can just install Python minus pip. You don't need to add twos and threes. Everything in Manjaro is Python 3. And then I guess I'll um, create a virtual environment for Python. And we'll just call it audio whisper. Then I'll go in there and let's activate it, I guess. Um, not sure if it activates on the first time. 
Okay, so uh, to those who don't know, uh, to my understanding, which environments, if I now install any packages using pip, they will be installed inside this folder and not globally onto the computer. So if I want to set up other projects on here, I'll have less of problem. So let's see what they recommend us to do. Um, yeah, they also want us to install ffmpeg. So let's do that. And then let's install the requirements. Oh yeah, I of course have to git clone the actual project. Oh yeah, also to mention I attached um, this audio to the Internac. So this is a Go XLR basically. And we can also install a tool to manage that. So I'll do J-S power control. So by default we'll have pulse audio and power control is the best tool to manage it. So as you can see, the Go XLR adds, adds a bunch of audio interfaces to the computer. Those are our inputs. So I'm basically talking through the Go XLR chat mic. All right, so installation has finished. So next it tells us to identify the devices. Um, let me move that over to five and the terminal to four. And we basically run the audio whisper minus minus devices true. And that should return us a list of um, different devices. So I think I'll just use pulse. I guess it's Python audio whisper minus minus device interface, I believe. Hold on, let me check the argument. No device index. And I guess I just need the number. And then I guess we'll start with the small model to begin with. Yeah, it seems the small model is half a gigabyte, so I will grab that. Okay, so the interface has started. Well, this is the small model, so the um, transcription isn't perfect. But as you can see, it's basically starting to just write down whatever I'm... Um, talking into the microphone. So we can also just hit control and Z and exit out of there. And then we can attempt to also start a bigger model. So for me, it works up to the medium model. As you can see, this has around 15 gigs of RAM and then um, I don't have a swap file at the moment. And to my understanding, this uses PyTorch and PyTorch itself reserves, I guess on this system, five and a half gigs of RAM. And the rest um, is basically used up once it starts loading that into the memory. And if I use the large model, I get a out of memory crash, but the medium model seems to work just takes a little bit longer to download and install.
Okay, so this seems to have started up. Um, I just said it before, but I didn't press the um, audio button. So one more thing to mention is um, the way the default arguments are set up. So by default, it's looking um, at five second intervals, and then it keeps the last five of these five second intervals. So if you're um, talking in longer sen sentences, you might want to change that behavior. But from what you can see right now, um, it does work quite nicely. And overall, the hardware or CPU usage isn't that much. Um, it's mostly working off the GPU. All right, um, my plans for this is to use them to write some documentation. Uh, let me know what you have planned. <laughs>